Hello and welcome. My name is Israel Lopez, and today I want to talk about Excel 2016. Now, a lot of my customers are uh, using Office 365 subscription in their business models uh, in order to, you know, provide uh, Excel Office uh, access to email, all sorts of fun stuff out there, which is a great new option for a lot of small businesses who don't want to plop down possibly. 200 to 500 dollars for a full Excel plus professional license. Well, one of the one of the great benefits of doing that is you get access to uh, the latest versions of Excel. You're not locked into, let's say, you know, Office 2013. And a lot of my customers are starting to use Excel 2016. Uh, I believe it was released uh, earlier this month, uh, December or November, and what I wanted to do was take a look at now 2016 because I am a Microsoft partner I do have access to the latest Microsoft uh, software and I wanted to see what's what's new and hopefully provide some additional value for my customers let's get started so what's new a lot uh, basically we've got graphs we've got better query support um, forecasting pivot table enhancements and something called Power BI now the graphs, uh, they've added six new graphs, uh, excuse me, uh, four new gra graphs. We've got tree map, sunburst, histograms, which I've always wanted to have. You know, I kind of a statistician, I like stats, so I've always wanted a proper histogram in, uh, in Excel. I had, otherwise, I had to go out of Excel to do some of that stuff. Um, box and whisker and more waterfall, fall, you know, if you got like some kind of cash flow analysis stuff that you want to go for, you know, month to month. Um, but those are some great additions. There's, I'm not going to go into all the details of these options. Just trying to let you know that we can use some of that in Fishbowl. Uh, better query support. So what they've done is you can go on their website and take a look if you haven't upgraded to Excel 2016. But we will be going through this as the quick demo. Uh, they added some additional features to the ribbon bar of Excel to, in order to make it easier to access uh, other databases. Before, you kind of had to know what you were doing in order to access data from other databases, kind of like in my previous video of how to do uh, refreshable uh, queries uh, in Excel 2013. That process is a lot easier now. Um, there's some other steps. You don't see some of the old, really old Windows uh, applications in order to get data into uh, Excel, which I think is a great addition because people get kind of confused when they see things change in terms of um, uh, user experience. Forecasting. Now, this is pretty interesting. Um, before, uh, forecasting was uh, limited at best, right? Um, you you would have to then just basically say there's an average, and then we're going to put the average out for a couple of months, and that's what that is. Now, forecasting um, is a feature inside of the graphs function, or, or some of the some of the uh, available features in Excel 2016. And you can kind of see from this example uh, image that they're going to start trying to figure out how to give it on like a date and some kind of metric, a number, figure out what, is there some kind of period, is there some kind of uh, uh, trend to this, is it going up generally, is it going down generally, and then what kind of periods, month to month, quarter to quarter, are we looking at? And it applies that information to a graph saying, I want to forecast out the next year, possibly. Uh, which I think is great. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to be useful to a lot of companies because we have to then use that information inside of Fishbowl for other reasons, but they'd be great for uh, single one-off uh, analysis. And we'll be talking about how else we could probably use that in, uh, for Fishbowl purposes. And then we have uh, pivot table enhancements. Now, this is the stuff that I really, really enjoy. Um, I spend a lot of time in pivot tables just doing real quick analysis for my customers, or, or even for myself when I'm trying to advise a customer, you know, what, you know what, what is actually happening to our sales, or what is actually happening to our sales, and things like that. So to, I just quickly pull it into Excel, do a couple pivot tables, and I off I go. Now, some of the pivot table enhancements, for example, like automatic time grouping, field searching, drill down chart navigating, that is immensely helpful for being able to uh, report on the information that I have without having to do a lot more you know, manual steps to get to that same result. And finally, we're going to be talking about Power BI. Now, Power BI is really, really, really interesting. Um, you could say that it's a competitive product to something like Tableau, another product that I've talked about previously. Um, however, I don't think it is, uh, but we'll be going through that probably in another video because I think that's an, that's an entirely different topic. It's a business intelligence dashboard solution kind of process 
and I think it's a good addition, but um, I think Tableau still um, wins out for uh, for that kind of stuff. But I won't give it the, the full prognosis right now. We'll be setting up another video for that. All right, it's time for the quick demo. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be accessing a already set up uh, Fishbowl ODBC connection, and I'll be showing you some of the new process things in Excel 2016 and how to get data out of Fishbowl and into Excel. Awesome. Let's get right into it. So this is the new Excel. Um, it's a little scrunched because I'm recording this on a 720p screen, um, but you've got some new uh, options here in terms of the uh, the available, um, you know, uh, I guess say templates. You know, I haven't really seen anybody use these beyond maybe just a few couple tests. Because inventory list, yeah, Fishbowl does that. Calendar, yeah, yeah Fishbowl does that. To do, yeah, anyway, so it doesn't matter. But you've got some new things to take a look at, maybe draw some inspiration from. And you've got some additional searches here on their online templates, really trying to tell people how to use Excel effectively. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to open a blank uh, workbook. And this is it. We've got all the same familiar stuff up at the top here. I know some of the UIs changed. There's a share button here now, kind of maybe what you're used to in uh, iOS or Android. Um, if you have the Office 365 account, you can sign in, and the you know, same same kind of ribbon bars. But what's new is we've got a new file button here, which hasn't been there before. We would have the Excel button instead. We've got insert, page layout, all pretty f same stuff. Okay, so let's get into what I really wanted to show you. Data. So the data options you can get from other sources. Actually, we're we go home. Where was this? Ah, there it is. New query. Excuse me. <laughs> I get confused sometimes. So this is what really I wanted to show you. Um, we've got uh, the traditional access to Microsoft SQL Server databases. We've got ac uh, Microsoft Access, you know, the desktop little database thing. SQL Server, Oracle, IBM, MySQL, Postgres, Sybase, which is what QuickBooks is, and uh, Teradata. Now, a lot of this stuff our clients, our world isn't going to use, maybe Sybase if you're trying to connect to uh, QuickBooks. Uh, but I would really love to see Firebird in here because that's the database engine that uh, Fishbowl will be using. Uh, for the now foreseeable future, I don't know if Fishbowl is ever going to change to MySQL or Postgres or Microsoft SQL. Anyway, point is, um, but that doesn't mean that because we can't use these options, we can't get some data into uh, Excel. What we're going to do is go from new query from other sources from ODBC. We're going to click that button and it's going to prompt us this nice really kind of simple uh, dialog window indicating okay let's let's get started. Boom we need a connection string. Oh boy. So the the easiest process for this is to set up ODBC. Uh, I am still planning on doing some kind of automatic ODBC connection tool that just you know sets everything up for you in three steps because right now it's like 10. Not that bad, but I, I think I have another video for that. Um, anyway, so for now, I've already set up my DSN. You can also use the instructions from Fishbowl's website to set this up. I'll set that up as a link here in the video. Um, but all I have to do is do type in DSN equals and Fishbowl. And then my SQL statement. So I will do select star from SO. And I'm connected to the Bicycles Unlimited database. Let that process, and drag the other window over here, and boom, I'm pretty much done. So before in Excel 2013, there was a query editor that looked really, really old. Like I was thinking that, well, this is coming back from, you know, Windows 3.1, but they've readily freshened this up now. So we've got this query editor. Uh, we've got we can remove options, we can remove columns, we keep keep remove rows, remove du duplicates, a lot of kind of clean up stuff in here. I'm not going to get into that. That actually could be another video on its own. But what I'm going to do is click on close and load. What that does, it loads that data into uh, Excel for us to then start working as uh, working on as a new sheet. And you can see that if you review the other video, uh, the process is a lot easier. I think we were able to do this in about three steps. Um, the previous video we had to do probably about four or five steps to get this done so definitely an improvement uh, the same features and functionality for refresh is available we just hit the refresh button and it's all working this is all fishbowl order data uh, from uh, the bicycles database but it all works really really well 
And we can do the same thing. We can do insert. Uh, we do. I think we can do query design. Is there a pivot table? Summarize with pivot table. That's exactly what I wanted. So we tell it query one. And we can start using. I'm gonna close this to get smart, give us some more options. And we're gonna do maybe uh, date. Let's find some dates here. Date. Date for ship. Ah, automatic. That's awesome. And then maybe date completed. Hmm, not automatic. Not yet, at least. Oh, actually, it is. Excuse me. So we can do 2015 orders. We don't have metrics. Let's get uh, total tax in here just because I know that's a number we can use. Total tax. Hmm. Easy. So you can start seeing how the power of Excel 2016 can really improve the speed of analysis, kind of, you know, play research and if it's, you already have Office 365 it's already included you don't have to go out and uh, get this and buy this yourself unless you're a, a different type of organization where you have uh, the Excel volume licensing or even then you probably have um, the uh, what's called uh, the software assurance for a number of years to include that when new versions come out but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've, you'll consider Excel 2016. We'll be having more videos on things like Microsoft Project and uh, other additional features of Excel. And we'll be coming out with some new products coming uh, 2016. Thanks and have a good day.